Model Engineering for Beginners, Part 48. Making a simple air fitting using the wrong type of die and holding it in the lathe chuck instead of a die holder. This is a tailstock die holder. The best way to hold dies, I would think, is to use one of these. And you need to use the dies that you can expand so you can adjust them to get a perfect thread. If you hold one of these type of dies in the main lathe chuck, the chuck will compress the die and you will get a thread that is undersized. In this episode, I'm showing what you shouldn't do. This is a non adjustable die, it's really a thread chaser for cleaning up damaged threads. And it seems to be quite a good fit on the safety valve of this Hornby G100 Stevenson's rocket. And here is the aforementioned Stevenson's rocket. First of all, I remove the safety valve. I don't know what the thread is really, it's a 5 16th by something or other. I have to guess it's probably metric, but it doesn't matter for this demonstration. I'm just showing what happens if you don't use the right equipment. The first thing to do is to put a piece of hexagon bar in the chuck and machine it down to 5 16ths of an inch. This, by the way, is not going to be the threaded end, but I thought I may as well have a practice and take a note of the dial reading so I know when I do the other end it will be exactly 5 16ths of an inch. The thread size is not quite right yet, I need to remove a little bit more metal. Eventually this is going to be the end of the fitting that the silicone rubber tube fits on. After taking a few more cuts, finally I get the diameter of the end of the piece of bar to 5 sixteenths of an inch. Once I'd got the right diameter, it was time to extend this all the way down the piece of bar. The first micrometer test cut was a little bit undersized, so I've backed off the cutting tool and now it should be 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter all the way down from this point on. I'm cutting this very freely, it's not a precision part at all. And because I will be using the wrong type of die, it's not going to work anyway. I rounded the end of the piece of bar using a combination of the traverser hand wheel and the top slide hand wheel. Then using a V-tool, also known as a chamfering tool, I cut three grooves in the part to make it so that when I fit a silicone rubber tubing airline, it doesn't blow off the end. Now as always, I use a centre drill to start with, and then I change it for a twist drill and drill the hole all the way through the work. Normally I would just file the end at this point, but I'm going to show a different way. You can use the chamfering tool like this, and finish it off with a file, first of all the coarse side, followed by the smoother side. And this will round the end of the part, but the finish won't be brilliant. So the next step is to use a piece of emery cloth like this. This smooths everything out and makes the part look a lot better. I would recommend if you're making a part like this, take your time. I'm really rushing this, just to quickly show how to make parts that are like this particularly this one that's not going to work. But don't worry, by using the correct die at the end of the sequence, I did finally get one that was right. I parted off the component and here I've turned it around in the chuck and I'm machining the other end to exactly 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. I'm confirming this with the micrometer and everything's fine. The drilled hole hadn't come all the way through so I just touched it with the centre drill and now the hole is all the way through. I cut a groove at the end to fit a silicone o-ring as a seal but just look at the thread, it's not very good is it? This die that I used that was non-adjustable screwed onto the thread of the original safety valve and it felt okay. That's because the die was designed not to cut a new thread but to clean up an old one. I found this old die in the back of a drawer I think it's some sort of a metric thread, but it did fit the safety valve. But unfortunately, the thread that I cut on my piece of metal was nothing like this one. This thread is quite near to 5 sixteenths by 26 threads per inch. So using a die of that size in my tailstock die holder, I recut the thread, and it sort of fitted into the hole. I didn't want to push the point though, it was a bit tight. But it does the job. Here you see the Stevenson's rocket running with a bit of air pressure going in through the adapter that I've made that you can clearly see in the hole at the top. 
Here's a bit of slow motion. Tomorrow I'm going to drive down to Milton Keynes and buy some steam engines. So I won't be able to make a video tomorrow unless you just want to see the contents of my dash cam. But I think you'll like to see what I'm buying and buy some Cotswold Heritage stuff and a small turbine. And that is it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch.